Hey guys, it's Megan and Riley here and all the chickens apparently. So today, Violet's babies are two days off from, or a day off from being two weeks old. So that means time to go to the vet and be disbutted. And we'll kind of explain more of that in a minute in the video and why we're just taking them and some other stuff going on with it. But, Riley, you ready to go get the baby goat? So the plus about having Nigerians is depending on how many you're taking, all you need is a tiny carrier. Over here. <laughs> here, show the camera. So you've got a baby goat. Baby goat. Here's little Casey. Casey's wearing a green collar. And here's little Rip. Little Rip has blue eyes. Look at that pretty baby. Three baby goats in a dog crate. So we're gonna take Violet and put her out with the other goats so she can graze today while the babies are gone. They're only gonna be gone maybe two and a half hours or so. For a good vet, for us, for the goats, we have to travel a little less than an hour. Maybe a little more than an hour. Either way, there's vets closer that will disbud them, but I just didn't like when I called and was asking questions how they acted about doing the goats. So we just went ahead and found someone that I feel like doesn't mind having goats around and they're more of a large animal vet. So we travel. So someone back there is being really dramatic. They've been away from mom for 10 minutes and are flipping their lids back there. So we have one that's whole, and that would be Casey, which means naturally no horns. So he's being quite dramatic behind me. Casey, where are your buddies? Yeah. They've got Rip and they've got Jolene, and they're gonna just butt them. And we'll get them back in just a few minutes. Goats are done. We're getting a little bit of pain meds for them and we're getting some medication to keep on hand in the farm in case of like pneumonia. Let me see if I can get a show y'all what they look like. Come here, baby. Okay, so we're back from the vet. The babies have been back with Violet for about an hour. These are the two. You're being dramatic. <laughs> These are the two that were disbutted. You can see right there. And let's see. All right. They actually do kind of like a eight. You can see where it overlaps there, the two circles. And then the silver is a medicated spray that helps keep infection out and keeps bleeding and all that stuff down. I wanna talk about two things. Why we disbud and why we're not disbudding all the goats. So, Benji is polled, which means he is naturally hornless. That's why one of Violet's was not disbudded is he is polled, which means he will never grow horns. He's naturally hornless. We did not take either one of Bonnie's babies to get disbudded. And the reason is her goat, her kids are completely, basically a mutt goat. It's half, or part Savannah, part Kinko, part Nigerian dwarf. They're not going to be registered and sold like that. They may end up in our freezer. They may end up being someone's pet as a weather. There's the chances that whoever gets them isn't going to care they have horns so there wasn't any reason to put that money into them to have them disbutted so they're not disbutted i think one of them is polled too so he won't grow horns anyways my nigerians will sell better if they're disbutted so we disbut them after the initial shock they actually put lidocaine up there on their head so that numbs it out it'll last for about 24 hours and they're cool they're being dramatic right now because they're away from mom for a little while and now they don't know where their mom is, so they're back in the barn being crazy. I don't know. Mom's out grazing. She's not in any distress at all. She don't even care that they were gone. Another reason we disbud is the safety for us is we're not getting horned even on accident. We're not, when we're trying to medicate, we're not getting horned. But also, they're not getting their head stuck in fences. A lot of goats will get their head stuck in a fence, sticking their head through it to graze. And then they can't pull their head out because their horns will get stuck. So now, we don't have to worry about that because they don't have horns to grow. So it's safer for them, it's safer for us. It's also if they're headbutting each other, they're not getting hurt by each other's horns. You know, no one's getting hung in each other's collars because we like having collars. A lot of people like having the horns because they're handles and you can hold them. We do that with Bonnie and Clyde, but we always end up pinched and hurt. So I'd rather just have a collar on them and be good with it. 
That was the main purpose of this vet appointment was to get the goats disbudded, and we've accomplished that. Second purpose we had for taking going to the vet was I wanted to talk to the vet about Annie. She has been turned in with Benji as much as the other girls, and she's not bred. He did take a month difference to get get on Brandy, but we may have just missed her cycle that month or something. But she got bred pretty quick too, and Annie has still been turned in with Benji when she's cycling and not pregnant yet. So, I was talking to the vet, see what we can do, and when we go back in April to have Brandy's kids disbudded or just check, make sure they're not pulled, because I'm not good at identifying it yet, um, we're gonna take Annie and we're going to try to do some hormones on her uh, so we know she's cycling and getting in a really good standing heat, and hopefully I can be present then when her and Benji are doing their thing and making sure he's getting everything done, making sure her tail's out of the way and things like that. Um, she is a first time freshener, which means the first time she will be having babies. So hopefully this will fix it and after that it'll be a lot easier. If you like what you're seeing on our channel, please be sure to subscribe so you don't miss another video. We've got more goats coming at the end of April. We'll be breeding at least two more goats. We've got, we got our two yearlings that will probably be bred hopefully in June or July, and then it'll kid this fall. So, yay, more goats. We've got some more stuff coming. We've got a bunch of projects to do around the farm that would help it, that would help improve other people's homesteads, so be sure to subscribe to see that. We may have more animals coming, like, tomorrow, so you'll be seeing it after this video. So be sure to subscribe, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.